Hi guys, it is me, Tori. So if you're new to this whole channel, I talk about all sorts of things. Really, I don't have like a topic channel. But uh, for today, I thought I would actually talk about something that is anime related for all of the people out there. So first of all, I have been trying variations of different types of makeup and different things of that nature. And I'm trying to get like the uh, bruised look that a lot of um, people kind of look for in a cosplay. You know, you might want to look like you've been in a fight or something of that. Uh, nature so I have a couple of things here a little bit of makeup and uh, some face paint and some makeup remover pads and I have a hat so I'm going to show the female viewers a way that you can style your hair that's why my hair looks kind of crazy because I've just pulled it back really quick but I'm going to show you a way you can style your hair without having to like put a wig cap on and do all that crazy stuff you have to do. So, um, let's get into it. First of all, one thing is you can use a headband for this, but, um, to like if you have, uh, bangs and you need to swoop your bangs back, you can do this. But, um, I'm not going to use a headband for this example. Okay, so you see my hair now. Obviously, it's tied in the back with something. It don't matter what you use to tie your hair up. So this is a great thing if you just want to take pictures or if you want to see what your hair will look like shorter without actually having to cut it. Or if you are wanting to cosplay as like a male character and you have the same color hair and you kind of want to do a quick fix type of thing like you forgot that the con's coming up and you need to throw something together this is probably your look so um yeah i'm just going to show you something really quick that you can do and then i'll get to the makeup part i wanted to start with something like easy and then get to the makeup so yeah basically what you do is you just take your hair right here and this works if you have really really long hair if you have short hair it might be like it might not work if you have like shoulder length hair this might not work you might could get extensions or something or if you don't want to spend all that money you could probably do different things with your hair to get I guess this look if you want um, if your hair is already short like this, you don't have to do this. It's just for anyone that has, like, really long hair. My hair is not, like, really, really long, but you get it. So, you pull it back, and you pretty much just flip it up on your head like this. And you just, this, see, this will be your bangs. Because if you're trying to do a gender-bent uh, cosplay, and you need to be a male character this is part of your hair then you just get a hat and there you go instant male male character um this isn't really anybody in particular i'm just saying also if you need to fix the bangs you can change them to this side i've been like playing around with this for a little bit so or you can uh, flip them up or um you can part them in the middle if you need to do something along the lines of that and that's pretty much how you take care of your hair if you're trying to do like a gender bent really quick maybe picture type of thing it might look a little weird in the back because you um where you like pulled your hair up uh, like i said you can use a headband if you need to like contain your hair a little bit better than what it is but this just like i said a quick fix if you want to take pictures or do something like that um so yeah instant gender bent and that's gonna take care of the hair part i'm just gonna take mine down and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a little 
Um, this is for males and females, so yeah. If you're ever doing a cosplay and you need to um, create some sort of um, bruise look, I'm going to show you how to do that very easy. And right now what I'm doing is just getting a headband so that my bangs will not be in the way. And then I will show you what I do for this look. And you can go on my Instagram, which is linked down below, and check out what it actually looks like. So, like I said, just pulled my hair back so that my bangs aren't in the way. And just going to sweep this to the side for now. And here we go. So, this is what your finished product is going to look like. What you're going for is the bloody nose and the black eye. But you can kind of do variations of this if you want to add blood somewhere else or if you want to put a bruise somewhere else, you can do that as well. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's like a purpley looking um, shade. So how I did this red blood is I just took some of this red paint right here and I made sure to get the opening of my like nostril right there on both sides and just painted a little and then like brought it down. So it's really easy to do. And as far as this goes, this just takes three shades of eyeshadow, which is blue, purple, and black so you can put other colors if you want like some kind of brown say it's like a healing bruise or something along the lines of that um you could make some kind of cut and make it look like it's bleeding whatever you want to do it's your makeup it's your event that you're going to be doing so it's totally up to you i really should have can Dense this video down a little bit because there's a lot going on but hopefully that helps somebody out there if you want to comment down below um, if this was helpful to you or if like you need to know some more information I can provide you with information I don't mind at all so, anyway, thanks a whole lot for watching. Give this a big old thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Post videos every Saturday. And hopefully this helps somebody. If you want to share your photos, your finished product with me, my social media accounts are down in the description you can just click whichever one you prefer and send me a photo if you want or a message and let me know if this helped any hopefully um, it does because some people get a little confused and think that you need super expensive things to cosplay or to do like makeup when in fact actually you really don't you can kind of do your own looks on stuff and you can kind of have like inexpensive things so hopefully this helped in some way and i will catch you guys later next saturday see you